Hey, good morning, guys. So, yeah, for a lot of you, it might be too late, but uh, I should have made this video several days ago. But we had to take these uh, sheep and goats, these lambs and kids, off of the sorghum sedan uh, grazing mix we got planted. Um, you want to do that. If it frosts on that and kills it, uh, it, it would cause prussic acid poisoning. Um, actually, the plants produce cyanide uh, for a little while. It takes about a week or 10 days for it to dissipate. We're going to take them off about a week here. And so we've kept these uh, this stockpile fescue pastures for them to graze while we got them off of the sorghum sedan pastures. And uh, just I hope uh, if you've got if you're grazing sorghum from Dan and it hasn't frosted for you yet or killed it that uh, you're aware of that if you if it's already happened you probably already know this it's pretty common knowledge but it's just sorghum sedan is uh, the most susceptible. Uh, Johnson grass, sometimes if you had a whole lot of Johnson grass for them to eat and it frosted on it, you'd probably want to pull them off of that. Pearl millet, you don't have to. Um, legumes, other grasses, no, it's, it's just the, the Sudan uh, or sorghum. I honestly can't tell you which one of the, but uh, uh, you'd want to take them off of that and then it'll just it'll produce that cyanide for a little while and it'll volatilize and then you can put it back on it and graze it and be fine so here's that sorghum sedan mix uh, that we pulled them off of it and you can tell see it's been frosted you'll notice some of the videos the earlier videos how bright green it was and then we got down to I don't know 22 degrees there the other night I think that was Halloween night it's really cold and and pretty much frosted it all we had taken them off that night before because they were predicting that cold wind or weather there and so it wasn't too hard we just run them up into that other pasture and if we wouldn't have got the frost we'd have turned them back onto it but we did and this is what it'll look like once it's frosted now the, the morning after it frosts you'll come out you'll notice it uh, it'll be kind of crimpled up leaves will be drooping you'll notice it looks definitely different and that you want to get them off of it then because uh, the cyanide will start coming out of it and now if they've got some other things to eat in there and there's not much of that sorghum sedan then you know it's it's not as critical but why well, take a chance you know and in this mix you know the the sun hemp there you can see how it's been frosted but it's not going to produce that the prussic acid problem um <clears throat> yeah there's some some millets in here there's some milo in here um, the milo might I I don't know about it I wouldn't take a chance on it. the millets don't don't produce that prussic acid you can go ahead and graze those even you know uh, right on through the frost it, you'll be okay but uh, like I said here, probably a week after the frost, we'll turn back out on this and graze it again. It's just as good as it was. Um, it's, it's nothing, nothing's gonna hurt them then. It's, it'll volatilize and, and be gone. And if you bailed it, so we've got some of this, that we waited, let the frost kill it, It'll dry down standing up. That way, if it, it's hard to get this stuff dry, see, when you bail it. 
So then we'll just let it dry standing, mow it down, probably let it set a day or two and be able to roll it up. The cyanide, the prussic acid is not in the hay, what I mean, it'll, it'll go away. It'll, it'll leave the hay bale, it won't be a problem. Uh, you can read up on that too, but, um, but you, you know, you can go ahead and bale it after the frost. You can wait a few days, which we, we will, because we wanted it to dry stand and, uh, in case we cut it, laid it down, then you get a rain on it. It's really kind of a mess. There's a, there's some of the millet right there. So hey, just uh, another thing, if you aren't grazing it, you can remember this video for whenever you do graze it, but be sure to just take them off for a week or 10 days after you get the frost. And so when you're when you're grazing this, you, you need to plan on that. Where are you going to take them for a week or ten days? You know, while you're waiting on this to uh, be grazable again. So factor that into your grazing plan if you're grazing this through the fall.